Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this time it's about what's in my makeup bag. These are products that I simply cannot live without and I can't go anywhere without them. So whether I'm going to a sleepover or holiday, I take these products with me and I trust them with my whole heart. But if you enjoyed my last video or if you enjoyed this one, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below just to give me a suggestion of what videos or what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more. Now let's see what's inside. Now this is my little glass jar of magic. The first brush I'm going to show you is my CALA Fan 305 brush. Now I use this for highlighting and it is amazing. Now this is my holy grail. This is my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I use this to apply foundation to my face. It is so flawless and beautiful and such a wonderful brush to use for foundation. Um, it just gives such a flawless finish. <laughs> now this one is a no-name brand because it rubbed off while using it but I've had it for so long that the lettering rubbed off and it is amazing. It's, uh, I wish I could tell you what it is but I, I simply can't, I'm sorry. But I use this brush for um, blush, um, bronzer, highlighter sometimes, it's, it's fantastic. Next is my CALA Eyeshadow 313 brush. This is great for the crease, um, precision, inner corner, outer corner. It's, it's a nice brush. Um, I actually use it quite a lot. I'm now going to show you my Blending 311 brush by CALA and this is my holy grail as well. <laughs> um, I use it as for transition colors, for blending, for pretty much anything really. For winged liner I use my Inglot 31T brush. It's really nice, it's really soft and thin and it really gets your winged liner on. Now this is my basic uh, lash and brow essence tool. It has a spoolie on one end and a lash separator on the other. It's it's it does the job. <laughs> then you get my Catrice double sided eyeshadow brush. One with the precision side and the other one with just a normal application side. Now this is also a double sided brush uh, by CALA and it doesn't have a number um, but it's got a blending brush on one side and a big brush on the other. Now these are amazing, uh, these are my eco tools, they're obviously eco friendly. Um, one's an angled brush for your crease and the other, the one that I'm holding now, is a highlighter brush and this is the angled brush. Okay, so that's it for brushes, but let's see what else is in my bag. What I'm showing you now is by The Body Shop. It's a tea tree 3-in-1 wash, scrub and mask. It's amazing for blemished skin. Um, it even says here, suitable for blemished skin. This amazing product keeps my lips plump and moist and it's called the Lipo Cream by SBR and it is amazing stuff. Just put on some before your makeup, before you go to bed at night and you wake up with beautiful, beautiful lips. Now this is my Be Natural Rehydrating Face Balm. It is non-allergenic, non-toxic, fragrance and chemical free. It's completely natural and I love it as a moisturizer. Now this product by The Body Shop is magic. It's heaven scent. It's a tea tree anti-perfection daily solution and it's suitable for blemished skin. It takes away spots in a night. 
I am gobsmacked. Another product by The Body Shop, but I've used this to take off my makeup at night. Uh, it's the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, and it is so good for calming your skin. Um, it's for sensitive skin, so it's amazing. Now to prime, I use another product by The Body Shop, and it's the Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. Really good primer, I must say. Really does fill in all those lines and pores. As I made clear in my previous video, this is heaven in a bottle. It's the Clarence Everlasting Foundation with SPS 15, SPF 15. Um, this is magic! Another Heaven in a Bottle that my boyfriend bought me for Christmas. Uh, Prep and Prime Matrix Plus. You all know what that is. I'm sure you all know what that is. Aside from me being a retard, this brush is a no-name brand. It's a powder brush and I've had it for years, but it's not something you really need to take notes of. Just thought I'd share with you. Contouring palette. This is Essence Shape Your Face Contouring Palette. It has a dark color, a highlighting color, and a blush as well. Um, I use the blush and the darker color for contouring just to chisel out my face. And that's all I use in the palette because the highlighter is terrible. The next item in my makeup bag is the Catrice Highlighter, which is amazing, very sparkly. It's the 010 Light Infusion, and it is stunning as you can see. Very sparkly, very pigmented, and wonderful. However, I am going to be showing you another one of my favorite highlighters, and it's the Inglot Highlighter. Now, this is a sparkling dust for face, eyes, and body. And I'm not sure what color it is, but it is flippin' awesome! It is so sparkly! Now this is for when I want to go out at night or something like that. And the, the Catrice one is more for like a daytime glow. Next is my bronzer. It's a 01 in the shade Light Matte. I'm nearly finished, I'm so sad. but. It's a wonderful bronzer and it's all natural because it's from the body shop. And finally, I got my loose powder. As I said in my previous video, I really wanted a loose powder. So I got a, the Yardley Loose Powder Translucent Buff. And I use this to bake my face and to set my concealer. The next thing in my makeup bag is my favorite product. The Naked Palette 3 by Urban Decay. And these colors are fantastic. I think this palette is so underrated and it is my favorite product in the world. I'm obsessed. This next product is my Clarence Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base, which is just an illuminator, <laughs> um, but it goes on before your base and it just brightens up your face a lot. Yet another product from the body shop. It's a matte uh, liquid lipstick and it's in the color 020. It is a watermelon color and I'm in love with this stuff. This facial expression is no overreaction. This is Clindoxyl gel and it is prescribed to me by my GP for acne prone skin and it is amazing. It is a topical antibiotics and it is wonderful for blemished skin. This is my Shine Appeal Fluid Lipstick in 020 Kiss Me in the Sunshine. It's so shiny and glossy and amazing and it's by Catrice. And this is my NYX lipstick in a 608. I'm not sure what the color is called. Um, but it is it's a nice lipstick next in my makeup bag is my essence lash, lash princess mascara 
as I used in my previous video and I said it is amazing I've now applied some water to it just to keep it fresh because I love it so much and you can pretty much get it for really cheap so it's a good buy Another one of my favorite products is the Inglot pigment. Now, Inglot never really tells you what color it is, um, but it's a pure pigment eyeshadow, and it is so shiny. It's that red one that I used in my previous tutorial. But now, onto the next thing in my makeup bag, and that is my contour stick. It's a Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix stick. And it's in the color 170 golden beige and it's wonderful to give you that sun-kissed look another Inglot product uh, this is the freedom system palette I chose these two colors from Inglot and I made up my own palette it's a wonderful little palette it's magnetic and it's super super beautiful and pigmented and more magic <laughs> It's the Urban Decay Brow Box. It comes in two different colors, one dark and one light, and a gel to go over. But it is amazing. It's called the Honey Pot, and it's my favorite brow product in the world. The last lipstick I have in my makeup bag is, I think, the Treats. And it is the Moisture Renew Lipstick in 705 Let's Get Naked. And it is so beautiful and pink. I love it. Oh, and there's another lipstick. Um, it's also by Catrice. And it's the Ultimate Stay 030 Would You Love Me as I used in my previous video. And last but not least, my beauty blender that's very, very dirty. You can't go without a beauty blender though. But that's it for today. That's all that's in my makeup bag. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And otherwise, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the support, guys. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.